Hello everybody, it's your girl Khadija Kadiba. Welcome to my channel. So today I will be talking with you about my winter vacation that I just came back from to an area called Deep Creek. Um, Deep Creek is in a city um, called McHenry, Maryland and it consists of there's several different houses and homes um, where folks can rent out um, and you can have family, friends, what have you. And then there's also a resort um, called the Wisp Resort, that's W-I-S-P Resort. Um, where there there is there are activities there. So depending on when you go, whether it's the summer, whether it's the spring or fall or winter, like I did, um, depend determines what types of activities. I'm sure. Um, so this is my first time going to Deep Creek, and again, it's um, technically not winter, but let's say winter. Um, so. I went with a group of, it was about five of us, five friends, and we had a blast. We had a ball, and the house that we rented is called the Stony Bray Lodge. I just wanted to come to you today to give a, a review. I wanted to come to you today to give you a review of Deep Creek, and, the, and, and specifically, the house that we stayed in. So this house had a total of five bedrooms. Um, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna insert some clips and videos, you know, here and there as well. So if you can just, I'm gonna try to talk you through it at least. There are five bedrooms. There were five full bathrooms. So each bedroom had a bathroom. There's three levels in this to this home. If you go upstairs, there were two two bedrooms. I'll come back downstairs. The main level had one bedroom, and there was a half bathroom as well on the main level. Basement level had two um, bedrooms. The bathrooms were spectacular. Take a look at the bedrooms and the bathrooms that I was able to capture. So right now I will be inserting a clip of the living room area and the fireplace, the dining room, to the kitchen.
Now I have to add that kitchen was stocked. We were fortunate because one of our friends is a chef, so he provided the food. Now, to to let you all know, there are places that you can go to purchase food. You have to, you absolutely have to drive. You absolutely have to drive if you do that option. But you know, it's one of those trips to me that's designed that you bring food there and you just cook it up there and just kind of, especially in the winter time, you get snowed in, you have food. Um, but the kitchen, the refrigerator was beautiful. Whoever the owner is of this home, or the owners are of this home, they really, really put stuff, like they put money into it. No dollar store stuff. Now, you know, I, I, I'll use dollar store stuff for my own little apartment. You know, I'm not, I'm not opposed to dollar store stuff, but just to let you know, the people that own, the homeowners, they really do they put, they invested in this property, it was beautiful. Um, like smart TVs, every bedroom guys had a smart TV. Uh, I know I'm kind of out of order, but every bedroom had a smart TV. Um, and the TVs were large. The only room that had a fairly decent sized one or smaller one was the room with about six bunk beds. Another thing that the house had was a lot of games. Um, there was a lot of board games. We didn't play their board games. Uh, we kind of brought our own games but nonetheless they had playing cards in fact I think I saw some chips downstairs for like poker or something we didn't do that but there as you can see there's also um, or as you saw there's also a pool table there's a jacuzzi outside and we did get in the jacuzzi and it was all of that now again it was cold outside it started snowing when we were up in the mountains but it was beautiful so the jacuzzi was amazing and we it was five of us in there we sat we sat comfortably a sixth person if everybody's like of a decent size, you can get about probably seven people in there probably, I'm guessing. Um, but five of us fit in there comfortably. So definitely another two people could probably fit in there for sure, but it was beautiful. Now to the, the actual WISP resort, which is the activities area. So. Every time I want to film, there's either somebody blowing a horn, the car alarm going off, or a train just feel like it's riding through my apartment. Go figure. So the Wisp Resort, we found out that they have an escape room, which is the room that you get in and you solve some kind of puzzle in order to get out. I'm sorry, I've never done it just yet, but nonetheless, my friends have. We didn't do that. They have a mountain roller coaster, which was underestimated because that thing was fast. I'll insert a clip of what the mountain roller coaster looks like. And then also we did snow tubing. Now the snow tubing, that snow tubing hill, those slopes were fast as I don't know what. We couldn't do the group one where we all get around the one or two uh, tubes, but we couldn't do that. But nonetheless, it was fast, but it was fun. Um, I did not go head first. That is not God's plan for my life. <laughs> nope. Nope. We had a great time. It was a two hour block. Um, reasonably priced everything was. Um, so the activities were great. That was about a mile and a half from our house. Overall, I had a great time. I recommend you all to go to Deep Creek, Maryland. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this review of this particular home and Deep Creek in general. 
Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment box. And before I go, once again, don't forget to click the subscribe button, okay? Click the subscribe button and I'll check you guys out next time.